Today, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and take you out exercising with me. A lot of people have asked, what do I do to work out? What do I do to keep in shape? And the answer is, as little as I can possibly get away with. Um, I know there are people out there who say they love to exercise. I am not one of those people. I just go out and walk. I just walk and I just try to walk as long and as far as I possibly can. And then I walk back. And that's really it. That's my whole workout program. And, uh, you know, at first when I started doing it, I walked a mile and then I walked a couple miles and then I walked three and, and well, let's find out what we do today. And you know, I never push myself. Some days I, I can go further and some days I just like, nope, that's it. That's all I got. So let's see what we have today. Let me show you what's in my purse. I do, uh, I like it in the winter time when I can just throw on a jacket and have everything in my pockets, but I don't really have great secure pockets in my shorts. So I carry a little, um, just a little over the shoulder thing, something I've had for a lot of years. It's got a lot of pockets, way more than I need. I will have my sunglasses will probably be on my face most of the time when I'm out there. You, This will be the last time you see my eyes for a while. I will have my keys, because of course I gotta get in and out of the apartment. I will have lip balm, because my lips get chapped. I will have my bottle of water, because it's gonna get hot out there. I haven't been doing a lot of walking lately. I walked a lot through the winter months and early spring, and I was really sort of pushing it, and I was, <clears throat> getting to the point where I was doing about seven miles a day and <clears throat> my legs decided they weren't so happy with me doing that and and they sort of rebelled for a while and swelled up on me so I had to spend a little bit of time uh, lounging with my feet elevated <laughs> I do get to walk through a really pretty neighborhood on my way to Fryman Canyon. There's a street that I like to go up right there. It's hard to tell, but it's almost completely vertical. It is so painful. Everybody who I take on a walk with me when we go on that street, they're always huffing and puffing. Well, so am I. <laughs> it's a good booty blast right there. It's always interesting to look at the construction going on. Look at this right up that hill. Houses are just built right into it. I always enjoy the jacaranda trees. The flowers are so pretty and purple, but oh, they are so messy. The first mile and a half of my walk is generally really, really pleasant. Once I get out of my own neighborhood and step over a couple neighborhoods over, I've got beautiful houses and beautiful gardens to look at, and I just really enjoy the experience of walking around and looking at the flowers and appreciating how they're growing and changing throughout the seasons. I'm a sucker for architecture. This is one of my favorite houses on the left. I love the papyrus in front of it. I love the architecture. I love everything about it. So I drool over it every time I walk by. And it's very pleasant for the first mile and a half of my walk. Pretty houses, nice pavement, a gradual uphill slope as I'm climbing a little bit higher into the hills. And then I turn a corner, and now I'm at the nature part of my hike. This is when I often will make the decision, do I continue going or do I quit? Because if I choose to quit at this point, I double back and go home. It's a three-mile walk. That's perfectly respectable, right? But no, I keep going. Okay, we're not even very far in. And I'm huffing, and I'm puffing, and sweating a bit. It always kills me when guys ask you out on a date to go hiking. Like, seriously? 
mean, kind of like to see me, kind of like you to see me as an attractive person, not the way I look in the middle of a hike. <laughs> All red and puffing and gasping for air. This is always a favorite little resting spot. Somebody created a little bench area. And uh, I never mind sitting down and catching my breath and enjoying the view just for a minute. When I get to this fork, I can choose to go left. If I go left, I will go down a little hill, and then I can turn back through a neighborhood and head home. And my walk will be exactly 5,000 steps, which is exactly the minimum that you need in a day. So that is that path. Whoops. I find it hard to believe that I used to do this hike every single day just a few months ago. Oh, I stopped doing it for a couple of months and now it is kicking my butt. I love when my friends call me and say they'll pick me up to go do Fryman Canyon because then I just have the, the three and a half miles of the hiking part and I don't have that other three miles of the walk there. And that's like, ooh, just sort of a mini workout. I love when those days happen. Just about getting to the top of the canyon now. And then I get to do the best thing in the world. Head down. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice when you get to start heading back down the mountain and back towards a residential neighborhood and then it's just a couple of miles to get home. But I survived the big stressful part. Now it's just put one foot in front of the other until I get myself home, which is often the hardest part of the trip. I haven't had a whole lot to say for the last couple of miles because, quite frankly, it would have been a lot of cursing. Yeah, I'm so over it. I'm, I'm really ready to be done. Probably, probably a bit much for my first day out in a while. <laughs> I did go on a small hike, um, oh, a week and a half or so ago. I did a couple of miles, that was good. But yeah, this was a big one today. I'm tired. I'll put my feet up. <laughs>